Thank you, Acting President. I rise to speak in support of the Summary Offenses Amendment, Nazi Symbol Prohibition Bill 2022. The government moved an amendment in the Legislative Assembly to bring forward the commencement of the bill by six months from 12 months, which would allow for sufficient education and awareness in the community. I'm glad that we have bipartisan support for this legislation. Uh, the main purpose of this bill is to amend the Summary Offenses Act 1966 to make the public display of Nazi symbol an offense. The bill implements recommendation number 24 of the 2021 Legal and Social Issues Committee inquiry into anti-vilification protections in Victoria report to ban Nazi symbols in public. This bill plans to tighten anti-vilification protections in Victoria. This bill ensures all Victorians are free from racism, defamation, and bigotry, and feel welcome and accepted. Hate behavior and vilification can injure someone physically and psychologically, prohibiting them from participating in their community. There is a concern about the rise in public Nazi symbolism. Recent displays have used the Nazi symbol, also known as Hakenkreuz, to convey hate and intimidation, considering its association with Nazism. Nazi and neo-Nazi symbols are repulsive to all segments of society, especially our Jewish population. Melbourne boasts the world's biggest per capita population of Holocaust survivors outside of Israel. Firstly, we must understand the difference between the Nazi symbol and the swastika. The, na the symbol Nazis used is not the swastika, but the hooked cross and the name that they used for it was Hakenkreuz. The warped Nazi symbol is Hakenkreuz, which means a twisted or hooked cross in German language. Mr. Fowles, the member for Burwood in the other place, very clearly emphasized that we need to get the nomenclature right and need to have a clear understanding of the word Hakenkreuz and the word swastika. To avoid any confusion, I want to make a clear distinction here that I will use the word Hakenkreuz for the Nazi symbol and the word swastika only for the symbol that is sacred and is being used by the Hindu, Buddhist, and the Jain communities. The education of this distinction begins in the parliament, starting from us, the MPs. The Hakenkreuz, or the hooked cross, is a symbol of hatred embodying painful and traumatic memories of the Third Reich, which committed horrible crimes against humanity, especially Jews. After the atrocities of the Holocaust, the Hakenkreuz became a symbol of Nazism associated with genocide and hatred. The swastika is one of the most ancient symbols of purity and positiveness across the world. The Nazis used the distorted version to commit heinous crimes against humanity. The name swastika originates from the Sanskrit language roots, su means good and asti means to predominate, and it indicates welfare, health, or good fortune. In Hindu philosophy, it represents the four yogas, or cyclical seasons, the four ends, or objectives of life, the four stages of existence, and the four Vedas. The bill recognizes the cultural and spiritual significance of the swastika and differentiates it from the Nazi Hakenkreuz. We see a significant difference between Nazi symbolism for hatred, which should be banned, and a genuine religious symbol of peace swastika which should be welcomed and celebrated. The government recognizes the swastika's cultural and religious significance for Hindu, Buddhist, and Jain cultures. The Buddhist symbol, known as the manji in Japanese, represents the Buddha's footsteps. To Jains, it refers to a spiritual guide. In India, it is a symbol of the sun deity 
with a clockwise direction and the auspicious symbol is drawn on the thresholds and store doors as a message of welcome as well as on cars. Well, Mr Ondaatje, on a point of order. Acting President, this is a very sensitive bill to many, many communities and most of the speakers afforded in this House have been afforded silence today. I'll ask that um, Ms Vigala could be afforded the same. OK, if everyone could just uh, keep it down so we can hear, uh, hear better, thanks. Thank you. In India, it is a symbol of the sun deity with a clockwise direction and the auspicious symbol is drawn on thresholds and store doors as a message of welcome as well as on cars, religious literature and letters. Swastika is displayed for weddings and other festive occasions, the decoration of a new home, the opening of account books at the beginning of the fiscal year, and the commencement of a new endeavor. For centuries, Hinduism, Jainism, and Buddhism have revered swastika. The government says these religious and faith communities should continue using the swastika unfettered, and it will not be a crime for doing that. The public display of the Nazi emblems harms and frightens Jews and other Third Reich victims. Swastika and Hakenkreuz are visually similar and may appear identical, but sacred swastika and hated Hakenkreuz have very different meanings. The bill acknowledges these parallels, but clarifies that Buddhist Hindus and Jains use of the swastika should never be considered offensive. All the committee members and the community members involved in creating this bill have done a commendable job by clarifying the distinction between swastika and Hakenkreuz. I'm proud to be the first Indian MP in Victoria and the first Indian born Hindu MP in Australia. Being the only Indian MP in Victoria and that to being a Hindu MP, I was approached by the Hindu Council Australia and many other key stakeholders from Victorian Hindu community once the anti-vilification protections report was tabled in the parliament. I'm thankful for the Hindu Council Australia, Melbourne, Shwetambar Jain Sangh, and all our Hindu community organizations for giving their valuable time for working closely with me so that I can give them a better understanding of the bill to alleviate some of their earlier concerns regarding this bill. I worked with them to get their feedback and in keeping them updated with this bill and its context applicable to Hindus and swastika. Victorian Hindu community endorses this bill to eliminate vilification of Victoria's Jews population. Though some concerns exist that the violation may lead to vilification of Hindu, Buddhist, and Jain communities who continue to display the swastika lawfully. The bill itself acknowledges these concerns and the need to ensure the offense doesn't harm faith communities. The bill introduces a criminal offense under the Summary Offenses Act 1966 that forbids willfully displaying a Nazi sign in public if the person knows or ought to reasonably know that the symbol is affiliated with Nazi philosophy. The offense in the bill was carefully written to safeguard these faith communities' right to display the swastika. The bill prescribes a ban for public display of Nazi symbol, the Hakenkreuz, not the swastika. The Hakenkreuz is explicitly banned since it is the most commonly recognized Nazi and neo-Nazi emblem and its display can cause harm and offense to our Jewish community and many other groups mentioned in the bill including Aboriginal and Torres Strait Islander people, LGBTIQ plus people, people with disabilities and other racial and religious communities. The offense in the bill has two fault elements. First, the offense has an intention element which requires that the person intentionally displayed a Nazi symbol in a public place or in public view. Second, the offense has a knowledge element requiring the person knows or ought to know 
the Nazi symbol is a symbol associated with Nazi ideology. Publicly displaying a Nazi symbol can result in a year in prison, a 120 unit fine, or both. Unreasonable refusal to remove content is punishable by 10 penalty units. This penalty is commensurate with vilification offenses under Australia's Racial and Religious Tolerance Act. The bill offers exceptions to the offense as per the committee report. The exceptions are based on the Religious and Racial Tolerance Act 2001 with certain adjustments to fit the offense. The bill includes two exceptions, which are not currently contained in the Racial and Religious Tolerance Act 2001. The cultural exception recognizes that while the swastika has Hindu, Buddhist, and Jain origins, its application is often religious and cultural. The religious purpose exception defined in the bill is crucial for Hindus, Buddhists, and Jains to continue displaying the swastika as a sign of purity, love, peace, and good fortune. These exceptions represent stakeholder comments concerning various situations where the Hakan Kreutz or swastika can be shown legally. Religion and culture are often inseparable. The bill includes a distinct cultural exception to guarantee faith and cultural communities to continue using the swastika with confidence. The bill offers instances of how the swastika is utilized by Hindu, Buddhist, and Jain faiths to educate, train, and raise awareness about the religious exemption. The bill commencement will begin six months following the royal assent. I do understand the intent of the amendment that Mr. Davis was planning to bring today regarding this bill. I'm advised today that Mr. Davis has withdrawn his amendment he was proposing to put forward, which was seeking to reduce the time frame from six months to two months after royal assent for this bill. There is a general concern amongst the Victorian Hindu community that if this time was further reduced, there wouldn't be enough time for completing community education. Community education expected outreach is vast, and some of the major areas where this is required are Victoria Police, protective services officers, school teachers, members of parliaments, councils, shopping centers, retails, interfaith networks, etc. The responsibility of the community education about the sacred swastika lies with the Victorian government. It is recommended that the content of the community education should be in multiple languages. Considering the extent of the education, it is recommended to the Victorian government to plan and speed up the process of education. The Victorian Hindu community would not have supported further reduction of time frame from the current six months for implementing this legislation to two months after royal assent. Six months of time frame after royal assent will give Victoria Police time to plan, develop, and conduct a community education campaign on the history of the religious and cultural swastika, its value to Hindu, Buddhist, Jain, and other religious communities, and its distinctiveness to Hakan Kreutz. In collaboration with the Victorian government and with their support, on behalf of the Victorian Hindu community, the Hindu Council Australia proposes to launch swastika awareness and education campaign, an initiative meant to bring about awareness regarding this swastika, one of the most sacred symbols for Hindus, Buddhists, and Jains around the world. Through this campaign, along with awareness and education, they hope to foster a mutual understanding of the swastika with other communities and prevent misunderstanding and misuse while imparting much needed education on hatred and intolerance in today's world. The Hindus recognize and acknowledge the transgenerational trauma of the six million Jews, one and a half million Roma and others, killed by Nazi persecution and the chilling, intimidating effect of Nazi-inspired hatred on Jewish Australians and others even today. Hindus believe in the fundamental concept of dharma and peaceful coexistence and have never tolerated hatred towards others. 
Hindus have provided shelters to persecuted communities, including Jews, Parsis, Christians, Buddhists, and others, due to their inherent aversion to hatred. It is imperative that we equip our children with proper knowledge about world cultures and religions so that they can develop the mutual respect, and that must be the cornerstone of any multiracial, multi-ethnic, and inclusive society. Victoria is a very big state with a complex structure of governance consisting of state, federal, and local council authorities. A very large portion of the campaign energy will be utilized to bring awareness and educating frontline workers, uh, police, kindergarten um, educators, and healthcare workers. Another important pillar of the campaign should be to work with Victorian media organizations and educate and persuade them to adopt appropriate terminology while reporting. Small businesses and big corporate groups that employ a large number of Hindu, Jain, and Buddhist Victorians also need to be targeted for the education and awareness campaign. A range of different methods and tools can be used individually or jointly to reinforce each other by the Victorian government to raise awareness of the swastika. For example, producing educational resources such as reports, studies, and infographics, holding or participating in events such as thematic discussions, roundtables, seminars, webinars, workshops, conferences, debates, exhibitions, and presentations. Uting radio, uh, utilizing radio, including community radio, as a powerful means to spread information and raise awareness. Producing audiovisual material such as television, video, and documentary film. Using the internet, including online forums, petitions, groups, and interactive websites, as well as social media platforms such as Facebook and Twitter. Engaging the media through press releases, briefings, newspaper articles, and opinion pieces, and conducting media campaigns. The arts, including art, satire, spoken word, music, and theater, can be a powerful vehicle to raise public awareness and consciousness. Acting president, such an extensive education campaign would not have been fulfilled in two months. Hindu community is looking forward to all the help and support from the government of Victoria and the Victorian Multicultural Commission to achieve an inclusive and respectful place to live and work and get an education for Hindus, Jains, and Buddhist Victorians. The swastika has been around for thousands of years, and it is used by many cultures as a symbol of peace, well-being, and auspiciousness. We hope that individuals and institutions will learn to differentiate between the swastika and Hakenkreuz, and, they, and that they will rightly denounce and condemn the Hakenkreuz and what it stands for. Acting President, I commend the bill to the House.